It's all quiet across the Atlantic, but the wet season continues for Trinidad and Tobago. And let's take a quick glance at what the rain gauge is showing at Topiaco, just at 133 millimeters, but we're still well short of the 250 that we usually expect for the month of July. Now, we could be seeing a bit more in terms of uh, some showery activity by uh, late on a Thursday going into Friday. We have a tropical wave set to come by that will increase moisture levels and instability. So some showers are expected, but not the necessarily the prolonged rainfall that we should be looking for as we go through this month. So occasional showers are expected to start the day on a Thursday. The clouds will thicken through Thursday afternoon. The possibility of some showers that could turn heavy or thundery towards the latter half of the day. But this is more so for Trinidad. So after a mostly settled night, watch for the clouds to build from Valencia, pushing into Arima and Diego Martino throughout the morning and into the afternoon. Look for the daytime heating to spark that heavy or thundery shower around a Piaco and the beach, but more so around the uh, plains of uh, Carony uh, towards northern Trinidad. For southern areas of Trinidad, there will be a scattering of showers as well and the possibility of a shower that could turn heavy or thundery for Rio Claro and Pinao. Now, uh, tonight will feel warm, no lower than 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and looking uh, for 32 degrees Celsius tomorrow. But with all that moisture around, it could also feel quite humid towards the end of the day. Now, looking towards the rest of the Atlantic, uh, no systems are set to develop for the next uh, day or so. But you will notice those are orange and green colors here. And that is set to bring uh, the ITCZ into play as you get towards uh, Saturday and Sunday. So you could be seeing uh, some longer spells of showers and also rain for both islands as you go through the weekend and also the possibility of a heavy shower as you get towards Saturday. Now offshore, those fresh easterly winds continue to bring white caps, moderate choppy seas, two meters offshore for the most part. It could stretch to 2.5 out in the Atlantic and those east northeast easterly swells of eight seconds still short as you go into Thursday. Now the rest of the Eastern Caribbean will see uh, that tropical wave bring a few of those uh, showers around. You could be seeing some of that, those green colors there, signify, signifying those showers. But ahead of it, especially around the Dominican Republic and Haiti, there will, will be quite a bit of Saharan dust. So quite hazy conditions for Hispaniola. Out towards uh, Jamaica, it remains quite windy along the south coast. Only the slight chance of a shower here, uh, but more showers expected for Cuba. And for the Eastern Caribbean, that tropical wave will bring some moisture and some unstable conditions. So looking for the shower that could turn thundery especially around uh, Dominica, out towards St. Lucia and down towards uh, Barbados and St. Vincent. Out towards uh, Georgetown, they continue to be quite damp at times, especially through late Thursday and going into Friday. But for us, mostly cloudy, some showery spells that one or two could turn heavy or thundery. So that's the weather and that's it from me.